Hello, and welcome to Nix Reads, the audio zine sister to Sea Green Zines. I'm your host, Nix, and this series is where I turn paper into audio in an effort to help people access zines in as many ways as possible. Today, I will be reading Write It Down, a mini zine about journaling, written by yours truly, originally, well, first printed as in January 2024 as part of the monthly zine project. Write it down, a mini zine about journaling. Journaling. If you're not already doing it, you've probably heard a number of different people from different sources talking about one type of journaling or another and how it helped them or even changed their lives. Even with so many people saying this, I have friends who resist the idea of journaling. Sit down and write about my feelings? No thanks. That's the thing though. That is only one kind of journaling. Personal journaling. Personal journaling is the kind you already know about and the one people assume you're talking about when you mention journaling. Dear diary, today I dot dot dot. While this may seem boring to some, processing your day or an event or an argument or on paper or screen, though typing versus handwriting will engage your brain in different ways can help you to step away from any situation and take the emotional power out of a situation that's weighing on you. Gratitude journaling. Gratitude journaling is pretty self-descriptive. Journal about what you're grateful for. And for some people, that's more than enough direction to do just that and see benefits from it. Some note one thing a day that they are grateful for. Some make it into an art project and do things like create a sun for the month and each ray of the sun being spaced to write in what they are grateful for on that day. Others will create a highlight slash low light for each day or each week. I think it's really awesome when people find benefit in doing that. I couldn't stick with it. However, when I added a bit more to it, then I began to see benefit. I not only slowed down in focus, but could see trends thanks to daily reflection style journaling mentioned by Struthless on YouTube. 1. What excited me? 2. What drained me of energy? 3. What did I learn? 4. What am I grateful for? Number 4 is my add-on and a good wind-down question after the previous ones. Bullet journaling. I think one of the reasons I love bullet journaling and even made a zine about it is because it reminds me of zines. Yeah, there is a system to how you can do it, but you don't have to. You are only really limited by your imagination. While that can be overwhelming, I do recommend starting off with Ryder Carroll's basics. It can also mean complete freedom to making a journal that is everything and anything you want it to be. Not only that, a bullet journal can encompass other kinds of journaling. You can reflect, note gratitude, mood journal, dream journal, and anything else you want in there. It's free for you to experiment with. It's a little too free for some, which is totally understandable. I do recommend giving it a go for a while though, because you never know what you might discover about yourself or what you want and need in journaling. It's the one system I keep coming back to again and again. Journaling can be whatever you want it to be. There are so many different types you can do, including combining types. For example, art journaling along with travel journaling, or gratitude with reflections. Some types are art, travel, fitness, mood, dream, goal, reading, writing, gratitude, spiritual, garden, reflection, friends, family, pets, memories. Over the years, journaling has meant a lot of different things for me. A way to process trauma, a way to vent, a way to work through situations. I've had journals I wrote for specific people, one time as a gift and other times to be able to say, or not say, the things I'd never be able to say out loud. As I get older and my brain gets foggier thanks to pain, chronic illness, and some medications, I've gravitated a lot to daily journaling as my memory keeping as well as me time. Does it matter that I discovered the best sushi roll you can get in Murray Bridge? Probably not, 
but it was part of what made the day beautiful and it will make me smile when I look back on it. I won't let another year go by with no real idea of what I actually did, said, experienced, etc. I want to remember the stupid jokes, burning dinner, weird silly stuff with friends, and more. Even the heartaches and the days lost to pain. But anyway, this is turning into a journal entry. Thank you so much for joining me for this short episode of Nick's Reads. I hope you enjoyed Write It Down. Check out the show notes for any links or people mentioned in the zine, and be sure to come back in a fortnight for the next episode. If you like what I do here, please check out my Ko-fi page. The link will be in the show notes. That's all we have for today, so until next time, relax, refresh, and spread a little sunshine. (music) 